So what I want to review with you here is how to automatically send an email based on uh, the help desk ticket not being assigned or being still open after uh, two hours, or in my example, it will be one minute. So to do this, we go to um, the help desk. We look at our unassigned tickets. Um, and you'll, of course, we'll just create one here. So we'll name this, um, this is a test, and a bunch of exclamation points, and we'll save it. So this is just a test email. It's already going to be met by the condition. Um, if I go to my automated um, actions up here in Studio, I'll see I have a an automated action already created. This is uh, just the name of it. I'm assuming Jim is my boss. Just, just an example. Um, the model we'll work on, the action to do, we want to, of course, send an email. Email template. This is very important because this is where you specify the text it will send. Um, the subject, most importantly, this is where you specify to whom you want this email to be sent to. Uh, this can be, you can either put the email, you know, list another email here if you want. You can uh, also, if you want, you can, uh, if the contact exists in the company already, you can just put the uh, name of them. Getting more advanced, certain languages, um, but most importantly, uh, dynamic placeholder. This is where you specify the field you want to draw from. Display name. It'll generate a placeholder expression, and you can insert it into the email content here, which will essentially pull the display name of the ticket, which in our example that we just created will be, this is a test, a bunch of exclamation points. So um, and then you can write whatever you would like here. And we can make it in bold. So, and attachments, of course, as well. Save it. Now this is where you set your condition. So it's going to be a timed condition. Uh, we're going to assign, you know, match records with the following rule. Uh, we want to create a record that says assigned to is not set. So this will filter out from all the tickets. It will only apply this rule to which condition is set, which the condition is where there's no one assigned to it. And then the trigger date will be uh, created on. And then we can specify the time and number of minutes or hours or days or months, which this rule will uh, take to apply. In this example, we have one minute. So once we do that, we save this and we can close out. Yep. And um, we created this. So now what you have to do is if you go to your, um, just see something here. If you go to configuration, sorry about that, settings, you look into your configuration, and this is very important to remember to do. Oops. Actually, I'm in the wrong one. So I have to go to make sure I'm in debug mode. That's the key. So um, once you're in debug mode, which is our developer mode, you will go to technical. Then you will go to um, scheduled actions. In scheduled actions, you want to make sure the base action rule, check and execute. Uh, you want to look at this, and this is what's going to run the automated action. So it's execute every one minute. You want to make sure that's true. In our example, I'll run manually. And you're also going to want to make sure that the email queue manager, which is where all when, a, when an automated action occurs, it send, if it's sent an email, it will send it to the email queue. The email queue is set to run every often, so often as well. You can set this to run every one minute, and we'll run it manually for the demo. And this will generate for us the activity that we're looking for. So now if I go to my email, we'll see we have Mitch Bossy, late ticket. This is a test. And then in bold, you can write whatever you like here. And this is how you'll automate those actions in Odoo. So it is a little bit uh, technical to set up, um, but if you, that's what the help desk's for. So yeah, just uh, once you're, um, of course, paying customer of Odoo uh, and you're subscribed, then uh, I'll be able to get you in touch with somebody in our help desk who will be able to assist you in getting this configured. If you have any additional questions about how this works, uh, please just let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks.